Hello everyone. So you might be starting your preparation for GATE 2023 now, or maybe you are planning to start after a few days. So often you have a question that which subject should I start my preparation from? So there can be many reasons behind which subject you can choose or you end up choosing. Like you might be already familiar with a particular subject, and it might give you confidence boost, and that is a good strategy as well. But today I want to talk to you about mechanics and. And so, and how it can help you in your entire preparation, or at least sixty to seventy percent part of the gate civil. It relies on the understanding of mechanics and so. So, if you are starting your preparation and you have no other idea which subject you should choose, then I think. mechanics and so would be a great choice for you so i can tell you different reasons here so you can build a very strong foundation if you are starting with these subjects and the reason is that these subjects both mechanics as well as so i mean i can club both and just call it strength of materials but basically i'm referring to both the parts there are many other subjects that rely on the understanding of these two subjects so if we talk about structures related subjects first so there is structural analysis then there is rcc and steel so these are all the structure related subjects and directly all these three subjects it will rely on the understanding of soam from your side now apart from the structural related subject there are other subjects also so we have soil mechanics which is definitely one of the most important subjects but this also rely on the understanding of soam as well as mechanics so the idea of stresses i mean basically in soil we are studying stresses and also shear strength which occupies a major part of this subject and both of these topics you can understand better if you already know soam so when it comes to understanding these plane stress elements where we have normal stresses and shear stresses so in this case you will be understanding this topic under soam and through that i mean if you already know this topic it would be much easier to understand something like shear strength earth pressure and after that this knowledge just keeps on compounding so even in the topics like foundation and even before any of this if you are talking about vertical stresses so there also this understanding will help you now that is about soil and then there is fluid mechanics so even though it is a subject of its own and in soil also you will need the under some part of the understanding from fluid but studying fluid itself if you know soam first then again it will help you so if you have the understanding i mean better understanding of free body diagram and in statistics you will again need this force and stress and also the idea of this plane stress element again it can help you so when you are studying about hydrostatic stress or hydrostatic state of stress then you will need the understanding of soam to understand that now apart from this if you talk about transportation which is supposedly an entirely different subject but when it comes to the part of transportation i mean in transportation when we are studying pavement design so pavement design it will rely on the understanding of soam again so at least these many topics whatever i am ma- mentioning to you right here these you can improve if you have a better understanding of mechanics and so on in smaller i mean on a smaller scale somewhere in environment also you might need in smaller topics in certain parts like when you are studying the rapid sand filter so there also the understanding of these concepts will help you now it might all also be the case that you are already somewhat familiar with these topics because obviously you would have studied it while your engineering exams so that might be helpful but even in that case if you are not familiar with it if you have not given it time de- recently then it would be a great place to start to build a great foundation for your exam now 
as i have explained to you where all you will need this subject i mean apart from the subjects itself now i want to talk to you about what are the topics that you can focus on in mechanics and so so first of all if we talk from the mechanics part so the basic understanding of forces and then then we have the free body diagram even though it might sound very easy like everyone can draw free body diagram but i often see students making mistake while drawing the free body diagram you might miss some force and that may lead you to make mistakes so give focus on this part then we have the equations of static equilibrium so even though i mean this is supposed to be the easier part of these subjects but you can still make mistakes in these parts so understand these initially better even if you feel it is easy try to solve some question just for the equations of static equilibrium like if you have to find the reactions for a beam so if you have different kind of loading like if i apply a moment then what kind of i mean the equations will be the same but how will the reactions change so the static equilibrium equations we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to 0 summation of forces in the y direction equal to 0 and summation of moment about any point equal to 0 so the application i mean you might be knowing these three equations but the application can confuse you when it is present in a complex question because sometime or i mean always in gate there are some questions asked that are just solved solely by these equations so the understanding should be very thorough and another thing that i can tell you here is that when we write the static equilibrium equations then we assume the direction in any question if you choose this right word as positive or left word as positive it does not matter it might confuse you when the this same idea is mixed with bending moment so you need to have a better clarity and the difference between the two in case of bending moment we are more particular with the sign convention but that is not the case when we talk just about the static equilibrium equations so these are the very fundamental topics from the mechanics part if we talk in sohm then we have the transformation equations transformation equations is based on the plane stress element when we have this plane stress element and we know the stresses in a particular orientation and we want to know the stresses if we take another orientation so as i told earlier when you are studying rcc and when you are studying soil in these parts apart from the sohm itself strength of material part itself you will need these i mean the understanding of these equations so give sufficient time to this topic and more often than not some question is always asked from this topic in gate also so give it proper time and try to understand it very well because in itself is an it is an important topic in gate then after that we have bending stress i mean shear force and bending moment is also there so that will be used in all the structure related subjects so you should have the understanding of that then we have the bending stress so bending stress apart from the sohm topic itself it will be used in the pre stress in rcc and it will also be used in steel so that is apart from its application while we are studying sohm itself then shear and torsion are also there shear and torsion relatively these both are i mean in any other subject these are mainly repeated only in rcc you might not see these as such shear understanding of shear stress is definitely a major part in soil but this stress what in the way we are studying it in sohm you might not see it again then we have columns and combined stresses so these two topic these are used very well in rcc and sometimes if the question is related to the frame part then you will i mean at least for the column part you will need it in structures also so this is what i can recall right now and this much you will need to understand all these topics they may play a major role 
in the gate exam or any other competitive exam that you are writing for civil so if you have any doubt if you have not decided which subject to choose then soam and mechanics as i told it is a great subject to begin with and it will help you build a very strong foundation and help you in understanding things later and understanding these things very fast so if you do not know we are already running our 30 day study plan right now and and if you want to access this study plan you can check the telegram link in the description below and you can join the group so for every day we are updating the study plan daily plan is there and we have a question also in the evening so you can understand if you understood that topic well or not apart from that we have weekly quizzes that all of these things are completely free and after a month we will also provide a total or full study plan that you can utilize in your preparation it will help you to plan your preparation before you before you commit whatever you want to achieve so you can definitely use that and check it out so the link will be there in the description so for today this is it and if you like the video you can like and share and let your friends also know about it